Friends, welcome back. It's Big Nano Plays Kingdom Death. We're about to go spelunking of death. And we're also going to hunt a wonderful dung beetle knight. And we are doing that in Lantern Year 11, 12. Excellent, we're in Lantern Year 12. Um, excited for this, excited for this. We're gonna have, we have some, some real positives coming out of this hunt, hopefully. We're gonna have all of the gear that we want to um, make, maybe, if we're really, really lucky. And if we're not, that's okay, we'll keep trying. Um, we're going to take four survivors, as always, but the four survivors we're going to take this year are not our, um, all of our A-team. So we do have Felix, he does have Vermin Obsession, he's a wonderful man, uh, and Sam the Scat Man, also Vermin Obsession. So there's a risk that we're taking two Vermin Obsessed survivors, uh, including one who can't dash, I'll come back to that. Laura Lee, though, uh, she is travelling very well indeed, she is... Uh, doing something quite fun with this uh, with this set actually. So she's got the antelope mask with no red affinities. However, she has lantern souls. She gets to add an affinity of her choice, and she was born with one red affinity. So she's actually triggering the antelope mask, which is nice. However, she needs to be insane at the start of her act for that to trigger. Fortunately, we're getting three insanity when we depart. So um, should be good. Uh, everyone else is about the same. We've added the long claw down here to our leaping hooked claw knife set. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, it's reach two. It's deadly. It's sharp. Can't wait. Um, we'll go over here. We will depart for the wonderful Dung Beetle Night Showdown. As always, we'll put our herb gathering and our mineral gathering just after overwhelming darkness. We'll go right here. We'd love to get cooking, but we don't have it. Let's depart. Felix with our Qatar will be our first person. Uh, we're going to grab out our basic hunt event deck. We still can't face bone eaters again, which is nice. <coughs> and the dung beetle knight. Ooh. All right. So our first one, Felix. All right. 84 scribes book. We got scribes book. Oh my god, did I forget to do sun dipping? Did I forget to... No, I didn't. I got sun eater and child of the sun. Um, but did I bring them out on the hunt? I don't think I did. Uh, so with Scribe's book, I don't think we can actually do anything. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's just a straight up and down. You need pictographs, don't you? Yep, we don't have pictographs. So, Scribe's book, we move on. Hiya! The bug man. Uh, so this will be Janae. Roll the dice, a seven. If the result is equal to or lower than your courage, we panic. We've panicked at the bug man. We roll a six. All survivors lose one survival. Fine. <coughs> Next person is Laura Lee. She's found an abandoned resin ball. Yeah, she'll go to courage, Laura Lee. Laura Lee, Laura Lee. She's now prepared. Uh, that's a bold roll, a 10. Oh my God. Permanent movement. <coughs> Laura Lilo, Laura Lilo. Another 10, you don't mind. Stranger to the dark. No, we just gained an understanding. Oh, she gets a seed pattern. Understanding. She's an explorer. Her insight roll. Get out of here. Fuck, I love being me. <laughs> Go to permanent evasion. Oh, it's good to be me. It's good to be the king. And a seed pattern card. We get... Clasping Shield, a second Black Knight one. That's fun. Uh, it is Bone Eaters. So we can't do Bone Eaters because it's not Lantern Year 15, fortunately. 40. The Dream. 
Uh, the event revealer has three courage. Sam the man does. Gains a plus one evasion token. Ooh. That's all right. <clears throat> we don't have the Twilight Sword. Next one. A random event. 79. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the small prospect. <laughs> yes! Yes! We get fucking port colours, King. Alright, the reason I'm so excited about that, um, great friends, is uh, the port colours key can actually be used after we can get my favourite sword. <laughs> we roll a 7 plus. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Is it under gear? Other port colours key, baby. We don't have graves. Overwhelming darkness. Nothing can stop me now. This is outstanding. Felix. Felix gains the leader fighting art. Does he though? No, he doesn't. Instead, he just gains a Lumi. Oh, I don't know if I gave him a Lumi last time. So, wonderful. Good work, Felix. Jenna. Uh, minus one accuracy token. She's fine. She will discard that. An eight is at one event damage to the arms. And Sam, I am. Sam rolls a six, which is everyone else gains a survival. He gains a minus one evasion token, which he will discard. We'll move on to here. We'll do mineral gathering. We have one person with a pickaxe and they roll a lantern 10. And this is interesting because that person also has the sickle. So it's Sam, our gourmandist. We may actually go for the crystal skin thing here, whatever it's called, mineral gathering, underground. All right, mineral gathering, I'm gonna move it over here. <clears throat> so we can gain a scrap, which we will do so. And then, any survivor may descend to the worm tunnels. Uh, well, let's do our let's do our worm tunnel one. If we have a sickle, yeah, lantern ten. Spend two survival to follow the crystal trail. Scatman Sam, one two survival down into the crystal lake. Okay, we don't have a whip, but do we roll a one or a two? Do we go for a seven plus? We'll go for a seven plus, I think. Come on. It's a one or a two, he's got crystal skin. All right, that's, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Crystal skin is fun, fun, fun. Uh, gain two little hit locations now. The spores mature and you gain the following ability. Crystal skin. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited now. I'm excited. Okay, so do we want to send someone else down? I reckon we might, you know. Who can we send down? Laura Lee's got plenty of survival tokens. She's got three of them. So let's send her down. Uh, she's not insane. She is insane. She's not deaf. Yeah, she'll go down. That's a four, so she's going to lose two survival and gain two insanity. Jenny. I don't really want Jenny to get in trouble here, but I really want some iron, so. We'll go. Five. Lose two survival. Gain two insanity. I guess at this point, Felix probably goes as well. Sure. Let's go, Felix. Felix rolls a nine, so we can gain an iron, or we can spend two survival to follow the crystal trail. Random disorder and three insanity. 
or an iron? How many survival have you got? Let's go for it. Come on, Felix. Get in there, son. It's a nine! Okay, so we find two iron. We can gain them or spend three survival to descend into the Lantern City. Do we just take the two iron? See, four iron is huge uh, on this, this line here. All right, I think I'm going to take the two iron, but I'm going to roll and see what I would have got. It's a great choice for me. It's a great choice. It's a 10. So take the two iron. We're happy with that. Isn't it ironic? Good. All right. Mineral gathering's been lucrative. Herb gathering. Everyone gains a survival. And also, Sam, the scat man, has consumed on the hunt. And so he gains a plus one strength token. And that is all. Uh, can we gain fresh acanthus? Uh, 27... 4, 7, and 9, 27, 34, 38, 48, 47. <laughs> uh, that's nothing. And 40, 60, 60 something. We get cooking, two fresh acanthus. You get vermin resources if you have it, um, but we don't. Boom, boom. That's it. So, our last one of these is superfood. So do we want to, let's count it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So this is Laura Lee. Do we want Laura Lee to gain plus one permanent speed? I think we do. So yep, we'll go for it. That's a nine. So we gain a Rainbow Droppings Phoenix resource. Alrighty. It's an organ, it's consumable, and that is all. She gets, she had a bonus to investigate roles too, so. <clears throat> she was actually, yeah, unlikely to get the bad outcome. We make it to the showdown. There's nothing special that we have to deal with. We're feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. The two fresh acanthus are sitting on that survivor, so. All right, let's review the survivors. So I think Jenny has nothing we need to worry about. Shatterstar, Frog Kick. Hey, she's not going to use Limit Break. Uh, and she's blind, but she's wearing a super cool eye patch. Felix, he has Physiognomy, so we need to draw two Terrain cards. Um, So there is a bug spot and two stone columns, so if we draw those, I'll just take those off. Toppled pillar or debris. Guess we'll take debris. Love something good from that. Does anyone else have physiognomy? Vermin obsessed, Jenna. Uh, tenacity, so she's actually gonna spend her three tenacity tokens to get to six survival, which is good. Um, and she's noisy. And finally, ravenous. We need to consume that attribute token and we level up digestion, which will actually level up both health and digestion, which would be good. So, and he's got crystal skin. Ooh, excited about that. Uh, and the White Sun Lion set gives plus two to all locations. All right, I will set up the showdown standby. All right, I did remember Shauna, Sh Sh Shauna Shrine. <laughs> so we got an eight, so everyone gains two strength tokens and adds plus one to hit to all locations. So I definitely forgot that. So Felix, uh, plus two strength tokens. Jenny, plus two strength tokens. Wow, why is she plus three strength? Oh yeah, because she's got the badass eye patch on. And she's a fist and tooth savage maestro. My goodness, there is some tokens out on the board. 
one, <laughs> Laura Lee, and two strength. And Sam I am one, two strength. Look out. Okay, now Vermin Obsessed is you cannot spend survival because you're obsessed with the vermins. There is a vermin. We have an obsessed vermin survivor here who is unfortunately our target. Now, I was actually planning for that. Um, and then our other vermin obsession is uh, Felix. All right, so we start over here. We shuffle this. We have a plus one damage and a plus one speed in play, so that's punishing. Uh, we ambushed this guy last time, which was awesome, by the way. I'm going to remember my Hands of the Sun and Sun language now because that's actually going to be relevant. Uh, this. Okay. So the first AI card this pest draws is ricochet shot. No, first thing he does is he, is he does baller and power forward. So, unfortunately, he swings the ball. Hiya! And then he's going to hurl it at our dude who can't dash. So he's about to cop it in the face. Uh, it goes 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, knock down. Uh, loses a survival from heavy load and then suffers five damage to two hit locations. The body and the body. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Severe injury roll. Now, again, I'll just repeat, I was okay with this <laughs> because we're going to spend two strength tokens using Juggernaut. Uh, we roll a 10. Do we have systemic pressure? So we may ignore it, but I don't think we will because we rolled a 10 on the body. You are knocked down. Great. So we have two strength tokens that we can archive, uh, which allows us to gain a progress from Juggernaut. So that's fun. He's knocked down, so that baller is now done. Uh, and then he moves towards the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then uh, he does ricochet shot. So it's the furthest stinky survivor. Now, unfortunately, we only have one stinky survivor, which is the guy on the ground. So, I oh know, do ground pound and then basic action. So ground pound, the ball rolls, uh, three spaces, one, two, three, and basic action, closest knockdown survivor, it's the same guy, he goes to there, and then he rolls his four speed attack, this guy has four evasion, five evasion, how good is that? Uh... 3 plus goes to 8 plus, 0 hits. Then he moves to the resin, the dung ball. Okay. Good, good, good. So. Felix, vermin obsessed. Laura Lee, not vermin obsessed. She's going to dash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. She's going to harvest the bug patch, so we can now spend survival. Uh, the bug patch harvesting is a roll. That's a four, so that's going to random vermin resource. A three is a thing. We get a crab spider. Done. All right, so now do we, so now we can spend survival as normal. So she's done and she's dashed. Sam is knocked down. However, we could stand Sam up with a hit song. It's a hit song.
Get some. Get some. This Felix Longclaw situation is actually an awful choice, Denno. <laughs> That's an awful choice. He's rolling five hits. Um, yeah. Do we hit some? Mm, no. Nah. So we'll dash. And we'll leap. Oh, I just remembered. I don't have to dash with the other chick because she's got the antelope mask. Or Lee, yes. No dash. Antelope mask. Felix dashed. Okay, so Felix is going to roll his attack roll. Well, if we just count up the hits, long claw hits on a six plus. We're in the blind spots. So that's a five plus. We have an accuracy, which is a four plus, and then we get plus one accuracy when we pounce, which is a three plus. So five dice hitting on a three plus. Uh, three, five, and three ones. Two hits. So, an impervious or super dense location, and a failure. So, uh, the long claw is uh, deadly, and we can cancel a reaction on a hit location of our choice. So we'll cancel this failure reaction. Um, but we crit on a nine. So we don't crit, but we do wound. Um, did I want to spend a survival to do devastating? Yes. So we'll lose all of our strength tokens, but we will gain devastating, which means that does one, two wounds. Uh, yeah. And this one is not a critical. Uh, we lose all positive attribute tokens and we gain and, and two survival. Which was okay because we didn't mind. Oh, everyone gains a survival when we arrive to the showdown as well. Cool. So Felix is done. Cancelled the hit location. We did two wounds. He's got his Qatar specialization proficiency point. Um, alrighty, so who has the frog doggles? You're knocked down. Um, hit song? Yeah, I think we'll go for hit song. So Jenny's going to dash into position. Has she got a. Yeah, you need to move at least four spaces. Yep. So she'll do that. And she'll karate chop in there. Uh, so she's using fist and tooth. She doesn't have a speed. She hits on a, a lot because of the hit song. Not the hit song. Eight and a seven is a good roll, Denner. Well done, buddy. A filthy gut. And a wound. So we'll go for this order. Um, and if we look at our strength, we're strength eight. There's no super dense locations. Uh, so we're plus one accuracy, plus one strength, and plus one, and savage as well. Yeah, how good's that? A one is a failure. <laughs> so we don't get that. Uh, this one. Uh, a three is a wound. Uh, because of our strength tokens, etc. So we have the reflex, bang, we collide with it and suffer five damage to two hit locations, body and boots. 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, but that does a wound which stands up our person. Uh, and we are placed, grabbed and smashed into the ball, nearest unoccupied space adjacent to the resin ball. So encouraged, he stands up, he's going to move to there, and he's going to kick the ball. Kick that ball away, kick that ball away, one, two, three, four. And that's the end of our turn. Uh, that was another wound. Great, we flip to topspin ball. Ground pound and basic action. Uh, she's got fist and tooth proficiency, so she's going to stand up. Ground pound, the ball rolls all the way down here. And the basic action is closest knockdown survivor. No, closest threat in range. It is Felix. He turns to Felix. He swings on Felix. Felix is feeling fine. Five, six, seven, nine. <laughs> uh, so he's hitting on fives. So he hits four times. Not as ideal as I would like. Uh, body boots, waist boots. We will dodge the boots for the survival. Body. Uh, and these, what are they? These are five each. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, did you have an extra arm on the body or something? Does from the lion slayer cape. Oh, it actually is one less because of the lion slayer cape. Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually just realizing that maybe the white sun lion armor is actually two at each hit location, which takes us to four. Bit of shield for five, six. So, yep. That's fine. Okay, uh, and then full move the monster towards the resin dung ball is done. So that is his turn. So now let's do the Sam I am eating. He's going to eat this positive strength token. Num, 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 num. And advance the digestion too. And then He's going to gain health. Three. Num, 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 num. And so he's just consumed. So he's going to gain a strength token back from consuming. And he can now use digestion two, which is a different uh, ability. So he will be able to use that to consume it for a permanent evasion. So uh, digestion two and health three. I like it a lot. And then he's going to move one, two, three, four, five to there. Going to go here. No, one. What are you, Felix? Speed. He is movement six. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't have diagonal. Don't really want to dash with him, is all. We'll, uh, we'll kick the ball. Hiya! We'll move to here. Hiya! One, two. She's going to move one, two, three, four, five, and she'll attack in the blind spot. I oh, know, the blind spot is here. Uh, with fist and tooth. Felix done, Sam done, Jenny. Fist and tooth. Uh, nine is a hit, is a three a hit, Deno? Uh, she is accuracy two, so she's eight plus, seven plus, six plus, 
5 plus for the blind spot, 4 plus, so not a hit. We hit with a club or a shield, we did not hit with a club or a shield. A 4 is a wound, we established last turn, so that's good. So then what we're going to do is we're going to swing by using a dash and use our frog kick. Hiya! Feet of Fury! We hit once with a perfect hit. Hiya! Hiya! Critical! <laughs> beetle horn, yes. It's got a broken horn and we just picked up a beetle horn. Which is good. Now that is savage. One, two, Oh yeah. Frog kick, just outstanding. Uh, I think we're probably not too concerned about anything else this turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Laura Lee using a dash. Do we swing with the uh... Yeah, we'll swing we'll swing with the um, the curse hammer. So she is zero speed, so it's just two speed, rolling a seven plus, six plus to hit. That's two hits. So that one we will... Uh-oh, someone's getting rolled over. Yep, so we will attempt... Uh, this one's going to roll towards it one space, yes. So we'll attempt a wound. Uh, that's a wound. It's not a critical. Uh, we're strength 59 million hits. And this one, the monster... No, it is adjacent to the ball now, so... Uh, that's also a wound. Boom. So we have... Proficiency point and... Proficiency point and... Sam, he's not swinging. All right, that's the end of our turn. So everyone gets their things back. So it is going to baller now, isn't it? Did I bring a sun eater? No, I did not. So we are going to want to dash with everyone. To get the hell out of the way. Because he's gonna ball it and swing it at this guy. So we will we will run away. One, two, three, four, five. With Sam. What do we actually? No, I don't think we will. I think we'll save his survival. She'll run away. One, two, three, four. She'll run away. One, two, three. He'll run away. So, uh, dash, dash, dash. The ball gets flung around, and then it gets flung here. Ten spaces. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. He's knocked down. He suffers damage to two hit locations. It's the hands and the boots. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Um, so then he draws his AI card. Oh, and then he full moves towards the ball. And he draws Rainbow Beetle. Oh, man. That's bad. Well, we've actually got a blind survivor, which is pretty fun. Uh, all blind survivors are knocked down. So knocked down, knocked down. And then on a perfect hit, yeah. Great. One, two. So it moves. That's it. So he actually just brings Rainbow Beetle into play, and that is all. Oh. 
When a survivor attacks the monster, they lose one survival on a perfect hit. Great. She's going to move into the rear. Uh, we don't have fist and tooth proficiency on anyone else, so no one else. Oh, she'll use, uh, she'll use a hit song to encourage everyone. Yes. Hiya! Hit song! Two hits. Hiya! Hiya! All right, she would, she's about to break her arm, but let's see. So fails, lose a survival, that is all. This one, oh yeah, critical. Critical, critical, critical. She can spend two survival, which she will, one, two, to gain a permanent evasion. And it's broken mouth. It's savage, one, two. And because she's done a wound, everyone stands up. Now, she didn't roll any perfect hits, so that's fine. She's blind, so she's fine. Uh, and that's it. So, because she attempted to wound a super dense location, or did wound a super dense location, I can't remember. Let's read uh, if you wound a super dense location. So we did not wound a super dense location. So she's fine. She's done. Felix uh, has already dashed. One, two, three, four, five. But he can leap to there. And he's got the long claw. Mm. Yep, we'll do the pounce. So long claw, five speed. Only hits twice, is that right? So long claw plus one for the pounce, so that is hitting on sixes, fives, fours, three hits. One, two, three. We can discard that and draw a new hit location. All right, we get to cancel one reaction. Um, I think we'll, we'll cancel this reaction. So it's a parry. So we fail, but the reaction is cancelled. Uh, this one, we do not fail because we have a million bonuses to our strength and the long claw is easily enough and we pounced so that's a wound we don't fail we didn't gain an elytria so we gain a wound uh, and then we will attempt to wound this carapace and we indeed do which means we gain a survival and that's it all right so we've got a trap coming on soon potentially So the person we really least care about is Lorelei. So she's going to use her antelope suit, one, two, main flight mask, sorry, three. And then she'll move into the blind spot with her uh, curse hammer. She hits once on a perfect hit. So because the rainbow beetle is in play, uh, she loses a survival and suffers two brain damage. And then there is a reflex, which is the monster performs ground pound. Uh, she wounds with a curse hammer. It's not a critical. The thing comes ground pounding in. Oh, actually, no, that's specialization. It's not a critical wound. You knock the monster down. It's a, per a mastery. You get to do the thing. Uh, ground pound, the thing falls. 10 spaces towards it, so that's there. Sam's gonna go there and kick the ball. One, two, three, four, five. That's the end of our turn. The monster's got one AI card left. He will go the furthest stinky survivor. It is Sam I am. No, no, he just does the basic action. Uh, basic action, closest knockdown survivor, closest threat in range. Yeah, we'll go on 
Felix, four speed, miss miss, hit hit. Felix is hit in the head and the boots. The head does one, two, three, four damage because of our Lion Slayer Cloak and we'll dodge the other one. And then he'll full move towards the dung ball. One, two, three, four, five. All right, two wounds to do. So what we will try here so Sam is going to use his action to consume an evasion token, which he can do once per year. Um, and so he's done. And he'll move away. One, two, three, to there. So he's still got two strength tokens. When he consumes, he gains another token. So he will consume and gain another strength token. Strength tokens. Um, everyone's got their proficiency points. So, the least likely to fail, or least likely to draw the trap is the club. So we'll go one, two, three, four to there. She will spend a survival to utilize um, the, the devastating attack and she will roll a uh, hit roll and she hits twice she gets it's a wound reaction and a swarm of bot flies she doesn't have high courage does she she's fine on the courage Boldly ignore the flies and archive this card. So if we wound this, we win the fight. Um, and we're wounding on a... It's minus... Yeah, we're still wounding on a 2 plus. So we roll a 4. That's a wound. Um, we can get someone adjacent to her, which will be... Yep, so Jenny's just going to go adjacent, and, and the reason we do that is it gets Lorelei courage. That's worth it. And that does two wounds. One, two, because we applied Devastating to the attack. And that's it. That was an easy... <laughs> that was an easy Dung Beetle fight. That's, uh, that's an unusual turn of events. That guy is normally punishing. And we got a legendary rainbow beetle in there too. Look at all the carapaces down the bottom. How yeah, good. All right, well, next Lantern Year is actually against the Black Knight. So we cannot do another hunt against this guy for a little while. So uh, it's plus one or plus two hunt XP. So let's complete the showdown. Uh, if we go to Hunt XP, we get another Pondering, so we'll do that. We will return and advance the year. If we nip over here, we will also gain our resources. So, okay, so... Six Dung Beetle Knight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven basic, a skell, and three caustic preserved dung. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Tell me that you love me so. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, plus, we picked up a crab spider and a beetle horn while we were at it. Good work. And three caustic preserved dung. Hey, that was, that was a good showdown. We did really well there. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that a lot. Um, more caustic dung. One, two, three. So let's go spelunking and let's try and not roll ones. <laughs> um, four survivors that returned. So Felix, brave Felix. Felix rolls a two. Get another caustic dung. It's a good outcome. 
Um, so I'll just I'll track that here. One caustic dung. Uh, next person is Jenny. I love you, Jenny. Jenny rolls a five. So she gets a skull and an iron if she has a pickaxe, which she does not. So she just gains a courage. Uh, next person is a seven. You can take the trial of Valor. Lorelei, would you like to be Valorous? Lorelei will be Valorous and she will roll a attempt on the trial of wits because she adds half her courage rounded up, which is two, and she rolled an eight, it's a ten. So half her understanding rounded up is she's adding plus two to this. Is a 50-50 for luck or the hidden crimson jewel worthwhile, then I for Lorelei. I think so. Yeah, and if we get the hidden crimson jewel, we are in great shape. Go for it. Oh, it's a six. So we'll probably use her lifetime reroll on that, I think, because Lantern 10. Um, because her dying would have been fine. Hidden crimson jewel. It's a good item. <laughs> In fact, it's an excellent item. It's a tremendous item that we accept graciously. We have one more person to spelunking into a five, and that person does have a pickaxe, so they gain a skull and an iron. That is the great man, Sam I am. One iron and one pickaxe. Oof, I feel so good about that. Good work, Jenna. Uh, and one skull. Someone gains an insanity. It is Lorelei. Good spelunking. Let's roll ourselves one of these bad boys and just hope, hope we get Marrowism because if we get Marrowism and crystal skin, we are, and we have dung beetle mite, we are playing in the proverbial sprinkler. <laughs> it's flashing around in the kiddie pool. <laughs> this one. In the kiddie pool. All right. This one, and count down to number four. One, two, three, four. Lights in the sky. Now, that's a positive one, and I have said at previous moments that I would be using different ones. So, we're going to use a different one. One, two, we'll use this one. It rang. We've done that one as well. Velvet Fog. There we go. So, that's a shame. Lights in the Sky is a good one. Velvet Fog. Can someone be the Juice Master? Uh, a survivor bashes one open and slurps up the bioluminescent juice. That someone is a seven. Departing survivors gain three survival. Oh, we can drink deep of the bug juice. Good one. That's a, that's a fully positive one also. Okay. <laughs> We're about to have a moment in time where we could potentially lose the campaign, and that is exciting. However, before that moment appears, we'll do some events. The Great Sky Gift. The guy's vomiting on us. Well done, guy. Okay, so we are doing the Sky Vomit Festival. Do we want to upgrade from level two to three? And we get a free Sunny to Fighting Art. Maybe. Okay, so we're doing a Sky Vomit Festival. A grand proclamation. Okay, that's a six. So we have a grand proclamation. Someone gains the defender fighting art and plus one permanent strength. That person will just gain a Lumi. 
Um, and so I think we want that to be Sam the Scat Man. And he uh, gains another loony. He's a scat man. <laughs> That's excellent, excellent. We're gonna decide if we wanna upload that, but we won't probably decide that for a little while. Ooh, that feels so exciting. The Black Knight. The bell rings. So we got the portcullis key again, which is just absolutely glorious because if we get the dark, we get to be on the figure on Gary goes seven plus, we get wrapped. <laughs> oh, that's a great art. What a great artwork. What a great what a great thing. I love this campaign. I love this game. Uh, the bell tolls. So Nemesis level one. We gain the bell of challenge and we endeavor here once for free. We roll an eight, gain the pierce of fighting art. I don't really want to gain the Pierce of Fighting Art. I would much prefer gaining this Count Truke pattern here. But no, that's fine. We will gain the Pierce of Fighting Art and we will... Uh, what is a 10 on that un, uh, Voltless roll, actually? Is that going too loomy? Pierce of Fighting Art is awesome. Gain two Lumi. Nice. Uh, so whoever this is gains two Lumi. We'll just make it uh, short. Scatman Sam. Uh, done. We gain the Bell of Challenge. And someone can go here for free. And that someone is going to gain the Honourable Disorder. And we will think about that. What else do we have in the timeline? Silver City! <laughs> <laughs> Silver City as well. Ah, uh, yes. Nominate a male survivor with less than three hunt XP. Uh, Norris. Norris is the man. Norris gains stark raving disorder. We can now hunt the thing. You are always insane. Add the Lion God. Fun, fun, fun. All right. So we will have to climb up the thing. So we've got, we, we've got lots of choices to here, but let's just do our, let's just do our resources. So, Dung Beetle Knight, a Century Fingernails, a Century Fingernails, a Underplate Fungus, a Scarab Shell, a Scarab Shell, a Scarab Shell, and then a Beetle Horn. Good. And then we have Hide, Broken Lantern, Perfect Bone. Monster Bone, Love Juice, Hide, Broken Lantern, and a Krabby. Excellent. We'll grab out our knowledges that we have gained. I did forget that we achieved collective cognition enough to gain plausibility, which is the um, Phoenix knowledge. So I did add that. However, uh, it's not a thing that we're going to go for. So, digestion, which is upgraded, find the castle, relentless, and tactical drag. Two monster knowledges, how fun. So, digestion is leveled up into digestion two. And health is leveled up. Oh, 
All right. I am going to think about my actions. All right. The first thing that we are going to do is our pondering. And then I'll just spend these resources, bone, hide, and an organ of some description. Um, I think we've got smog singers, we've got organs, no. Uh, I think we've got enough, I've got a caustic dung as well, so I'll spend one of those caustic dung that I picked up in the uh, thing uh, for our innovate. So that's the first of our endeavors. The second of our endeavors um, is actually not an endeavor. We get to endeavor for free at the um, Bell of Challenge. Uh, so that's free, but let's do, yeah, our survivalist roles. Um, so we are level two with Laura Lee Low. Laura Lee, hi, hi, hi. She wounded the monster multiple times. Say three. Uh, she rolls a four. She gains meat shield and she gains tumble. So we don't want that, but we definitely want tumble. So that is good. Tumble. Unfortunately, adding meat shield to our collection sucks. Tumble one. Good. Happy about tumble. going to go into the next showdown for sure and tumble away. Gains a loony as well. She may purchase find a castle or something. See this is a cool little one to have and just like grab and then thing. Um, verminism level up three. The greatest artwork out of all of these. Verminism. Our good guy, Felix. Felix gains a loomy. Felix levels up to number two. We have six or more vermin, I think, in storage, do we not? We have seven. How you like me now? <laughs> Queen of hands. I kind of want three to five vermin because Inventum Edge was, was just absolutely unbelievable, but... <laughs> So I could have actually turned some of those into leather. Uh, I might go and read Queen of Hands and decide if I want to do that. Yeah, it seems like a really interesting um, one, but I can't really figure out how to make it work. On the left and right columns of your gear grid match. Two shields, two katars, and then two dry to campus. Then in the middle, plus two speed. For each cancelled hit, two plus two speed. It's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. If I could make that work. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't... Uh, Haven't done that before, so let's try Queen of Hands. Um, we, we probably we're probably in a situation where we have uh, the right uh, gear to utilise because we can use shoulder pads and add three to all hit locations. It's not armour. So yeah, we could, we could do some interesting stuff there. 
I might try and plan out a gear grid for that. Uh, cool, so let's do our innovate. So we are flipping four cards. One, two, three, four. Um, forbidden Dance, Pictograph, Storytelling. Now let's go Bloodletting. Really want cooking. Um, all right, so we still have four endeavors to spend. So we've innovated. We get to do a Bell of Challenge for free. I think we won't need to worry about the Sauna Shrine uh, for this fight. It's not going to armor is not going to be the make or break. We have enough strength, so. Uh, potentially will trepanning, uh, no, what we wanted to do is butchery, no, butchery next year, she hasn't used butchery yet, so, yeah, so maybe we will use the purification one and purify someone and gain partner. No, purify, purification ceremony. And then, do we have some babies? We haven't got face painting yet, so I think we can hold off for a bit. Also want to try and level up a few more of those things. Um, scrap scavenge doesn't really help us. Underwater train we don't need, I don't think. Trepanning. Yeah, we'll try and do a trepanning to remove some disorders. And maybe we'll make leather, just in case, so. Uh, trepanning, that's a nine. I think that's a... Cure an intracranial hemorrhage, nothing, fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make, so, I'm gonna craft the following items from the wet resin crafter, we are going to craft a digging claw. Uh, that will be fresh acanthus, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, golden frog and fresh acanthus. Golden and pink flesh. This will be a whistle tooth, and this will be a scrap and a sentry fingernail. So we craft one digging claw. Why do you do that, Deno? Why? We're going to bury it. We're going to bury it as well when we get the chance. Uh, the other things that we can craft from the wet resin crafter is nothing this year. Next year, though, we will be able to craft the Scarab Circlet because it requires a skull, a hide, and the compound eye, and the two uh, century greaves will be able to craft them. So that's it. Catch you on the next episode. Big Dino out.